find the unit normal vector for the function f of x comma y equals one half x cubed at the point two comma negative three comma four. Referring to our notes below, to find a unit normal vector to f of x comma y, we let big f of x comma y comma z equal f of x comma y minus z equals zero. As long as the gradient of big f doesn't equal the zero vector, the unit normal vector to the function f of x comma y equals the gradient of big F divided by the magnitude of the gradient of big F. Let's begin by determining big F of x comma y comma z. Again, big F of x comma y comma z is equal to f of x comma y minus z equals zero, which in our case is one half x cubed minus z equals zero. And now we'll determine the gradient of big F where the x component is equal to the partial of big F with respect to x, which indicates we differentiate one half x cubed minus z with respect to x, treating y and z as constants. The derivative of one half x cubed with respect to x is three halves x squared. And the derivative of z with respect to x is zero because we're treating z as a constant. The y component is the partial of big F with respect to y, treating x and z as constants and therefore the partial of big F with respect to y is zero. The z component is equal to the partial of big F with respect to z, which indicates we differentiate one half x cubed minus z with respect to z, treating x and y as constants. The derivative of one half x cubed with respect to z is zero, minus the derivative of z with respect to z, giving us minus one or negative one. And now we evaluate the gradient of big F at the given point, which will give us a normal vector, and then we'll determine the unit normal vector. So the gradient of big F at the point two comma negative three comma four has an x component of three halves times the square of x, giving us the square of two. The y component remains zero and the z component remains negative one. Simplifying, three halves times four is 12 halves or six. We now know the vector six comma zero comma negative one is normal to the surface given by f of x comma y at the point two comma negative three comma four. Because we want a unit normal vector though, we want the magnitude of the vector to be one. So now we'll determine the magnitude. Which equals the square root of the sum of the square of six, the square of zero, and the square of negative one. Simplifying, we have the square root of 37, which means the unit normal vector, we'll call it vector n, has an x component of six divided by the square root of 37, a y component of zero, and a z component of negative one divided by the square root of 37. Let's check this graphically. On the right, we have the graph of the surface given by f of x comma y, and this blue vector is the unit normal vector that we found with the initial point at the point two comma negative three comma four, and notice it does appear to be normal or orthogonal to the surface at the point. I hope you found this helpful.